So today I am recording from my living room. I have had a really up and down week. It's been incredibly busy in all of my businesses. And I've got a little bit of a cold today, not feeling 100% and taking some time out. But I wanted to drop on and do the vlog anyway and just try, even though there's not much happened, try and just talk you through the types of things that go on in business. Obviously, as an entrepreneur, I run multiple different businesses. I can be pulled into one depending on what's happening and then into another and from that one to another. And this week I had a couple of big networking events booked, which meant me traveling and stopping away from home. Um, so that actually has a huge impact on your week and your ability to work in all of your businesses in the ratio that you normally would. So that's had an impact on the whole of my working week. It's also had an impact on my health because I did 12 hours driving over 36 hours, did slept away from home, not in my own bed and not for the amount of hours I would normally sleep. I can say that. Um, and I've had a lot of work on this week, a lot happening, things I can't even talk to you about um, because I can't share them yet that are happening in my world. However, business goes on and life goes on. And today is a day of downtime for me. So I thought it's a great opportunity for me to just record the vlog, give you an update and let you know what's happening. Because here's the thing, at any point in time, over a business journey, no matter what it is you're doing um, as an entrepreneur um, or in your business, things can go pear-shaped. And they haven't gone pear-shaped yet, but the potential is there. So I spoke to you last week about the lag from the council with planning permission, which has left the sellers understandably really frustrated because they are, they are keen to move out of the property for me to buy the property for them to move on to whatever it is that they're doing and they have plans for you know another business located elsewhere um and it impacts not only on me and my desire to be in the property next door and start the work because it's a big job to do all of the work but it it impacts on them as well so I have been in communication with them this week and said, look, you know, um, I can't do anything about the planning permission, but if you've got a better offer that doesn't need planning permission or another offer that doesn't need planning permission, you go ahead with that offer because business is business and you are the sellers. And if you need to sell this property and move on to something else, then you have to do that. And I accept that that sometimes happens in business and I have to let it go. But I have no emotional connection to anything. I obviously have an emotional connection in some ways um, to all of my businesses because I do what I love and I'm what I'm passionate about. But even the art bank and even my coaching business, the one thing I learned from losing my husband, Gary, in 2020 is that nothing is permanent. I've learned this several times in business. I've had many business lessons about this. But that life lesson, above all of the other many life lessons that I have had, taught me that anything can be gone in just a few weeks. All of the things you love and all the things that you care about can be gone like that. So not having a 100% emotional attachment to anything really serves you. So as much as I'm invested in doing this amazing bistro and gallery next door, and I really desperately want the property, and I want to buy it from the wonderful owners, Gemma and Mark, who are really amazing people, I also want them to have what they want. And if I can't give that to them, because the council has put a huge spanner in the works with the timescales that they are taking at the minute, then I have to let that go if that's what the if that's the way it goes. Now I don't want it to go like that. I love to work with them and I, I'm doing everything I can to serve them in the best way. But I don't have, you know, the money sitting in my bank account. The bank loan is totally dependent on the planning permission. And unfortunately, post-COVID, Dumfries and Galloway Council have not recovered. They've not recovered to their operating standards of where they were pre-COVID because some people are still working from home. They've lost a lot of people. Things have changed in so many ways. Legislation has changed. 
So all of that is just the world we live in right now and none of us can do anything about it. So here's a lesson for you in business. Sometimes things won't go your way. Sometimes things won't go other people's way. And what we've all got to do is what's right for us every single step of the way. So do would I hold any grudges if the sellers have to go with somebody else? No, I wouldn't. As much as I want that property, it's attached to my property, really desperately want it. I also understand that sometimes you've got to make the best decision for you. So it's a really busy time for me at the minute. There's lots of other stuff happening in other sides of my business. So I'm going to continue to do this vlog. And even if things don't go ahead next door, I'm going to continue to tell you right up to the end of the story, all the lessons and all the things that I've learned and that have happened during this journey. So the vlog will only stop when we either open the doors or it goes in a different direction. So excuse me, um, my throat is really dry. I've got a bit of a cold coming on, like I said. Um, so I might lose my voice at some point. Um, it's been a tough week. So I think that's this week's lesson, that life will always throw bombs at you. Life will always move you in the direction that it thinks you need to go in, whether that's God, spirit, universe, whatever you want to call it, whatever is driving us down the path that we are going in. It's always just going to happen anyway. Your job is to go, do you know what? That's okay. There's other plans. There's other, other properties. There's other premises. There's other paths for the people, you know, that are going in their own direction. I never judge. I never get upset. I never get angry anymore because none of that serves me in any way. Gary taught me that this man that was dying, this man that I loved so much, that was dying every day that I was with him of the seven years, we just didn't know when that would happen, taught me that life was too short to get angry. Life was too short to get upset. Life was too short to hold grudges. Life was too short to have high expectations and then feel disappointed. Life was just going to do what life was going to do. And every day that man got up, whether he was sick or not, and he lived it to the full, fullest. And he taught me how to do the same. And he taught me that it just goes the way it goes, right up to the day that he died, with me holding his hand at the Freeman Hospital. So if this business doesn't happen, this business doesn't happen. Another one will. If things go right, things go right. Everybody's happy. If the council pull the finger out and do their job quicker, then they do. And if they don't, then they don't. That's just the way it is. And I wanted to share that with you today because I know as entrepreneurs, it can feel so frustrating at times and you can get so angsty about it. Don't. It's not worth it. None of it is worth it. Well, that's Dan just getting back with the dogs. He's just been out on the dog walk. So I'm just going to say goodbye for today because there's nothing else I can tell you about the journey other than that lesson that I wanted to share with you today. So have an amazing weekend. I hope you feel a bit better than I do. And I hope you're going to put your feet up and relax a bit this weekend. And hi, Diesel, who's just walked in the room. Have an awesome weekend. I will catch you up next week if there's anything to tell you.